All right, people. Um, some, somebody watched on YouTube a uh, video of me scarifying with that scarifier I restored last year, and they asked me if I've got the cassette for it for the for the Marblites, and if I had, could I do a video on swapping them out, basically? Um, which I thought fair enough. If they're asking me to do it, I'll do it. Um, I need to get it out anyway. Um, because there's a problem with the scarifier itself not the machine just the blade I'll show you what's wrong with it in a minute it still works okay like but it's, it needs a few uh, what do you call them um, springs but I'll show you in a second machine um, it's a 14 s and it comes with a, a this if you look um, just here that springs had it it needs to come out and there's another one just here so I need to get it out anyway um, so I can get some new springs for it so let's get it out but and I'll uh, put the uh, the blade in. Right, you have to get these forward, take this paddle off. Um, if you can see that. Rubbish on there. That's the uh, head you have to use. Show some music while we're doing it. <laughs> so I'll go straight down there. Give me a chance to check the cogs anyway while I'm in there because they do uh, break. Nope, that's fine. Right now there's another one here and there's one on that side that you need to loosen off as well. Well, take out all together. Just take them two out all together. Um, you've got the this on the holds, it holds the uh, grass box. Just take that off. Right, hang on a sec. Right, with, with them out on the side panel off, it allows it to slide past. Now, if it's been in a long time, these are, are, are really tight sometimes. I just tend to like, just try and fray them up a little bit. But you'll need to put some force on it. So, that's that one completely out. This one, um, I restored all this one last year. So, it, right, you should, you see that? There's a runner there. Let me show you. It's 
So run out of it slides on there and the cog goes through there. Yeah. See the, the flat bit that was on there. Bingo, that went in quite easy. Um, it needs adjusting up actually. Um, these, these two screws, there's one there and there's one there, that'll adjust the blade away from the, the cylinder, away from the blade at the back. So if you listen to it, you need it catching it. So I need to just just that off a bit. You know they click. One click. That was two. One. Okay. Drop that back down one. Yep, that's fine. Right, let's put all the uh, screws back here. That one there. Make sure you don't cross thread them. Yep, so put all them back in. And then put these. It's a good time to like you know check everything's working fine. No, no, it's a, it all looks pretty good in there, apart from this grass. <laughs> Where's me? Uh, that one right here. Give it a clean while I'm in it. That all looks good. So, oh, put the panel back on. Right, so right, if, to the person who sent the email this morning, um, I hope that helped. Um, if you've got any more questions about this particular machine, just uh, drop me a, an email and I'll uh, do my best to sort it out. Um, so, just before I go, look at this. wife bought me a little radio for the shed <laughs> it's superb it's normal radio it's also bluetooth it connects to the computer so i can uh, play my music while i'm working retro style right so if you like the video give it a thumbs up for me please um and if you like subscribe you never know um but th thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one people bye for now